Shalom Akim. Uh, this is Yahweh Tazak coming back with another video. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Shem Shai. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Waharakak Wadash. Barakatam Akim. All right, I got this article. I just Googled in, um, you know, April 23rd, 2018 events. And this is what it popped. One of the articles it popped up was um, from Express.com. Dot UK Ex Express end of the world 2018 with the rapture end of the world today, you know, shock predict shock prediction says yes. All right. And they show you, you know, this illustration of uh, a con Christian conspiracy theorist that predict, predict the end of the world. And they show that, you know, the earth being, you know, destroyed, and, you know, uh, you know, losing a lot of its, uh, you know, foundation. Which is complete, you know, um, madness. But um, we know through the scriptures is that, you know, the Christian doctrine is way off and it's um, it's complete, you know, full. It's, it's full of lies and things of that nature. They don't have the proper breakdown of the scriptures. So as I was saying, you know, I just typed in Google and, uh, you know, and this popped up. So to the spirit, I'm going to speak on it to the best of my ability. Um, I'm going to continue to read. It says the end of the world could be be arriving sooner than we thought and as a new theory suggests we are now in the end times could this shock prophecy be true will the rapture occur on april 23rd so they're saying that today is supposedly a rapture is supposed to occur you know some some form of a uh, spiritual phenomenon is going to occur today you know and then they're going to give their um explanation why things of that nature but what the what what the uh what it said, the end of the world could be arriving sooner than we thought, and that's true because it is. We know through the signs, through the measure, the, the measuring stick of the prophecies, we know that Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus, is coming back, man, and he's coming back as a man of war. And there's going to be great death and tribulation and plagues upon the earth at that time, the, before his arrival and at the point of his arrival. Okay, that imminent day of destruction, you know, which is Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, the impending time of Yahweh by Shema Shai is on its way man you know but they're they're, they're they're suggesting it as theories you know or, or or you know man's own interpretation the scriptures already broke itself down and told you what's going to happen all right it says uh by Owen Go you know pub published Monday April 23rd 2018 all right so it says according to the conspiracy theorist codes in the bible suggest the end of the world is imminent with earth set to be destroyed today see no man the earth ain't going to be destroyed nor is nor is it going to the 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 um the end had began when you was shy even when he stepped on the scene to be first and foremost all right first of all yeah was shy when he was on the earth that was begin the beginning of the end now we're just coming into the last you know milliseconds you know um i'm gonna pull out a scripture because they keep Making mention of the earth being destroyed, which is um, complete inaccurate. All right, so um, let me go ahead and bring it out. You brothers, just bear with me. You know, um, right here in Ecclesiastes 1. And uh, I'll start at verse 1. The words of the preacher, the son of David, king in Jerusalem, which is talking about King Solomon. Now, Solomon had all wisdom. And he knew the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven because the Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom was dealing with him. All right. So he knew that the earth would abide forever. Vanity of vanity, saith the preacher. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What profit hath a man of all his labor, which he had taken under the sun? One generation passeth away and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. You see, so the earth abides forever. It's never going to go away. It's never going to be destroyed. Okay? It's, you know, the, the, so like I just wanted to prove that point. And real quick in the book of Mark chapter 13 verse 32, it says, But the end of that day and that hour knoweth no man. You see? So no man knows that the um they can't put a, a, a you know, you got people out there and, and on YouTube, they uh, these, these uh, bugged out Christians. You know, they're different nationalities, different, you know, heathens and shit like that. That put, uh, they, they, they set dates on when the end of the world is going to be. The so-called end of the world. When they don't even understand the term end of the world. All right. Which they, they set dates 
And man, they're they're always proving they're they're showing themselves to be complete idiots, man. You know, which would scriptures say we already know that uh, if a prophet, you know, says something and it come not to pass, not to fear that man. You know, and we know that these people out here that are setting dates are complete bugged out, man. They don't have no understanding. You know, it's better for you just to be quiet and like and, and let the um the 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 signs speak. You know, and then we utter we uh utter it. We we let people know as a as a forecasters. You know, this this just occurred. So we 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 know that it's getting closer to that time. All right, it says, but the end, but the end, but of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. You see, so only Yahweh knows, not the Son, not Yahweh Shai, not the angels, not no man on the earth. All right, because we're not greater than Yahweh Shai. He says, no servant is not greater than his master. All right, so Yahweh Yahweh Shai has to wait for his father to give him that green light to go. All right, so it says. Um, uh, one theory suggests the end times dates back to astrolo astrological const constellations appearing on November twenty third, matching the book of Revelations twelve and one, uh, chapter twelve one through two verses. The passage signals the start of the rapture and the second coming of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, or they got here Jesus Christ. The passage uh, in Revelations twelve one through two reads, and a great sign appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with, with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was pregnant and was crying out in birth pains and the agony, the agony of giving birth. All right, so um, uh, we know that in Revelation 12, 1 through 2, as we're talking about Israel, you know, and the twelve stars represent, represent the twelve tribes of Israel and the sun and the moon. You know, represent knowledge and understanding or, uh, you know, wisdom and understanding or wisdom and knowledge. So and the woman represents Israel. OK, and the one that was um says where she was pregnant and was crying out in birth pangs and the agony of giving birth. And we know the child that was brought out was Yahweh Shai, you know, and which ultimately, you know, can represent the the elect. You know, saying because we're going to be brought forth, you know, and we're going to be delivered. You know, when you read like uh, in uh, Second Ezra, it talks about how Ezra, the Uri, the Uri of the angels telling him, can a woman bring forth, um, you know, more than one child at a time? And, and the answer is no, by most is by two. But in reality, most of the people bringing uh, one child at a time, you know, a woman is bringing forth a man, uh, you know, a child one at a time. And we know that we're gonna be delivered, you know, through through that 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 pain, man. We're gonna be brought forth through that pain, that suffering, and uh, and Yahweh Shai is gonna deliver us, you know. So it says, uh, right here in the book of Acts, chapter one, verse six, it says, "When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, what thou at that time, at this time, restore again the kingdom of Israel?" And these are the the, the apostles asking. Yahweh shy this before he was ascended up into the heavens, man. All right, so he's asking them if he's asking Yahweh shy if he's going to restore uh, um, the kingdom of Israel back to them, man, so they can be on top again. And he said unto them, "It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in His own power." You see, so only Yahweh knows the uh, the time, the date, you know, by the second, you know, not no man on the earth. You know, they're just these these um these astrologers and things of that nature. These 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 watchmen that are watching the heavens and you know the constellations. You know, believing that they have the ability to read the times. They're 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 going off, man. But what they what they don't know, whether they do or don't, what, but they're not saying it, is that the um the seal the seal, the sealing up of the hundred and forty four thousand the elect has already begun, has been beginning. You know, way before, like I said, November 23rd. It's been beginning way before that, man. Because scriptures say from the foundations of the earth, you know, they have been pre um, preordained. They have been pre-selected from the foundations of the earth. But in our time, is 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 because of the knowledge is going out. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. The true understanding of the scriptures is going out to the four corners of the earth. So we are we know that the elect are being sealed right now before our before our eyes. You know. 
So they're just trying to continue to bring up more, you know, just just complete madness, man. You know, this is Ephesians 1 and 4 it says, according as he had chosen us and him before the foundation of the world, that we should be a holy and ho that we should be holy and without blame before him and love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shahamashiach to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. You see? So we've been predestinated from the foundations of the earth. We've been chosen, man. So in reality, the elect are gonna be delivered. You know, nobody else, you know, everybody else is gonna be um uh lost and and, and, and cast away, you know, because they despise the truth. They despise the hearing the, the sound of the trumpet that was being blown right now through the uh, via mouth of the prophets that on the highways and the byways under Great Millstone, man. You know. Uh let me go ahead and go to the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and start at verse um 30. And then shall the then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in the in heaven. All right. So that's that's when we're gonna know when Yahweh Shai cracks the clouds from the skies, that's when we know that it's over. You know, because there's gonna there's gonna we're in the end of days right now, you know, like like I made mention. But it's gonna continue to get worse and worse to 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 the point where Yahweh Shai is gonna actually intervene to um when he uh comes through the clouds to the the skies to deliver his bride, man. All right, that's that's the ultimate sign that we know for sure, without a shadow of a doubt, that it's over. All right, it's, that's where the when I mean it's over, the elect, the chosen that he's coming back for, are going to be in complete um, safety. All right, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall the tribe shall, shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. You see, and that's what's happening right now, man. We're being gathered right now spiritually, but come soon it's going to be physical. We're going to be manifested in a twinkling of eye translated into a uh, incorruptible body, man, and dwell with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and the chariots, what they ignorantly call UFOs, man. Okay. Uh, continues. I'm gonna keep reading. It says, "It is thought that Virgo is the woman from the passage, and that's not true, man. Because when you go back to Revelations 12 and 1, it says, and there appeared a great wonder in heaven: a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and under her head." A crown of twelve stars. Now we know all those brothers. We know that uh, Israel is likened unto a woman. But I'm gonna bring it out just to um, verify that here in the book of Jeremiah. All right. Um, let's see, because they're likening it unto, and it, even at that, if he, if the, it, you know, if you wanted to liken um, anything by the star, it would be the, uh, uh, I believe it's, uh, is it Venus, the morning star. But let me um bring this out first. Let me see, brother Salakia. This is uh, Jeremiah 6 and 2. It says, I liken the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. You see? So um, that woman that was appeared in, in heaven that John the Revelator saw is Israel, man. The Israelites. All right? And um, that moon... When you do your deep research on that room, it goes back to wisdom. And the sun represents uh, knowledge. All right. And understanding. And under her feet and upon her head, a crown of, of, of 12 stars. And what do those 12 stars represent? Let's go to the book of Genesis. Right here. And chapter 37. All right, it says, uh, I'm just going to get to the point because Joseph had the dream and he was breaking it down to his, his father. It's Genesis 37 
and uh, nine it says and he and he dreamed yet another dream and told it his and told it his brethren and said behold I have dreamed a dream more and behold the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made o o obeisance to me all right so um Joseph was telling you know his father and his brother you know his brothers the other tribes you know like Judah Benjamin Levi um you know because Joseph he was um his name or his his blessing was given unto uh, Ephraim and Manasseh all right so Joseph was uh, the one that was sold into slavery you know he was taken into the Egypt by his own you know his own uh, brothers and uh, so he basically had that 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 vision he says and he dreamed yet another dream and told it his brethren and said behold I have dreamed a dream more and behold the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made ob obedience to me all right which means uh Ob ob obedience, if I'm pronouncing it properly, um, is uh they they show reverence to him. You know they obeyed him, they bowed down to him. All right, so that's what that represents here in Revelations 12, and uh, uh 12 and one, in verse two, and she being what child cried, travailing and birth and pain to be delivered. All right, now when you keep reading, it goes into that child being you know sought after. And, and, and things of that nature, which is Israel, you know, it also could be Yahweh Shai, because King Herod, you know, was trying to murder Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh Shai, we all come from Yahweh Shai, we all come from Judah, you know what I'm saying, so Yahweh Shai is a Jude, is, 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 comes from the tribe of Judah, you know, so we all come from Yahweh Shai, you know, it's, it's, um, it's not hard to understand, man, you know, but these people out here, they're trying to make it, they're trying to make it more than what it is. Okay, now if you go to um, uh, Revelations 2 and 23, it says, or uh, 2 and 28, and I will give you him, and I will give him the morning star. Now, if I'm not mistaken, when you go into that verse, the morning star is rep represents uh, Venus. Okay, and here they got Virgo is the woman from the passive, which is bullshit because that's in that that goes to that whole um. You know, uh, you know that Rome, that Greek and Roman mythology, even 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 Venus. But I'm just proving a point, and it's inaccuracy because Yahweh Shai likens himself as the morning star. So if they wanted to use those, it would be Venus, not Virgo. You know, it says today the sun and the moon will be in Virgo, as as well as will Jupiter, which represents the Messiah. Ex experts at first dismissed this claim when they discovered this alignment happens every 12 years. However, the conspiracy theories claim another planetary alignment representing the, the lion of the tribe of Judah will make his time the rapture. Christian conspiracy theorist David Mead is the main expert ex suggesting the end times are here, which he ain't no expert. We We've been doing this. You know the 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 ones that were uh, preordained from the foundation of the earth, telling you and sounding the trumpet on the highways and the byways, letting the people know for the past, you know, thirty plus years, starting with Elder Zahara the way down. You know, so we've been telling you that the 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 line of the tribe of Judah, which represents Yahweh Shai, who they ignorantly called Jesus, is coming back, man. He's coming back for his bride. He's coming back for his children. Okay, so they're just trying to make it. You know, uh, if you want to keep reading, you can. But the 12 stars, they represent the 12 tribes of Israel, man. All right? Because that's who he's coming back for. You have with Shai. He's coming back for the elect. You know, this is in the book of Revelation 7 and 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the heaven. And the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the times, or nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were uh, twelve, and there were sealed a hundred and forty four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. And you read and it says twelve thousand out of each tribe, and there's twelve tribes. So 12,000 out of each tribe are going to be sealed upon their foreheads, man. 
with that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, the Holy Spirit. So that's what those that 12, star, 12 stars represent. Okay. And uh, let me go ahead and bring this out here. And uh, let me see. Salakia. Uh, second address. Chapter 9, verse 1. And it said, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And we know that through all these different, uh, um, you know, natural occurrences, which um, some can be explained, some can be explained, and some can't, is that sign of Yahweh Shai coming back. All right, and it's getting very, very close. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Right, because we know in the beginning it's always been it's always been seen by the prophets. You know, it says, For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, even so the times also the highest have plain beginnings and wonders, and powerful works, and endings, and effects, and signs. And every one that shall be saved, and shall be able to escape by his works, and by faith, whereby ye have believed. You know, so. We know that through the prophecies, the, the signs that are going on in the earth are a measuring stick to us, to the elect. To everybody else, there's just another day or just something that happens. It's part of the world. It's part of, you know, the changing of the times. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a changing, a translation of kingdoms. It's going to be a great war that's going on in the earth that's going to happen in the earth, which ultimately Yahweh Shai is going to rule the earth back, you know, once and for all, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and end it with this. Um... In the book of Romans, all right, 13 and 11, it says, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believed. That's right. So even some of these these, these um, conspiracy theorists or, you know, whatever, the end time theorists, they, they more or less know that something is going on through the Spirit. You know, something's going on through, uh, just by looking and observing the, you know, the, the 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 current um world events and things of that nature but you know they're not they're not a point they're not on point breaking down the scriptures you know so it says uh that night that the night is far spent the day is at hand let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light which is that seal man the of the holy spirit the wisdom knowledge and understanding all right so i just wanted to bring this out brothers you know hope it was um edifying just just further prove more on these damn demons out here. Just, you know, bringing up more madness, um, setting dates and, you know, just basically trying to, um, uh, numb down people from being watchful, basically saying, oh, nothing's going to happen. That's, that's what their, their event, their motive is to be, uh, their motive is to get people from, um, believing, you know, uh, losing their faith. So they're showing you that, see, there ain't nothing going to happen. Just, just stop believing because that's why the Lord said he's going to catch a lot of people unawares, man. He's going to come as a, as a thief in the night when they shall say peace and safety. And before I end, I'm going to read this out. Uh, Matthew 23 and uh, Salaki, Matthew 24 and 23, it says, Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, that here is Christ or there, believe it not. And there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders. In so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. But behold, I have told you before. You see, so there's going to be a lot of people out here doing this, you know, witchcraft, these, this sorcery, you know, this wizardry. You know, they're going to be doing these things, trying to get you people from from um, uh, believing, man, numbing you down, giving, putting the spirit of incredulity upon you. All right. It's, it's, it's brought to my, to my memory when I said, like, these people are setting dates and basically... You know, it's witchcraft because they're, they're making you just not believe because the Lord says in a coming a time when you don't expect him, you know, but blessed is he who watches when you meet when you read uh, Matthew 24 all the way down. So I was watching this movie called The Lost Boys. Uh, it's an old school movie, uh, you know, back in the 80s that had to deal with vampires and shit like that. And, but anyways, there is this part in the movie where um the vampires are basically they're wanting to recruit 
this um this one an individual that barely moved into their you know their 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 you know their town uh and uh they um they take them to where they chill you know what i'm saying to you know they chill in this cave and so they took him down there the vampires and he he doesn't know they they he just thinks that they're just some dudes that are badass or cool guys you know rebellious they don't give a fuck you know what i'm saying but they were actually you know men or guys that were um killing people in that town you know and they were just you know vampires but anyways they um they brought him in you know they ordered chinese food and they you know they had they threw him a box of rice and uh the main the main vampire which is uh um i believe his name's uh Kiefer Kiefer Sutherland and uh he gives him the box and and says you know eat and go ahead and eat and he's watching him eat and he goes you know how how how, how are those worms so he looks down he looks at him and it's just a bunch he sees a bunch of maggots oh yeah that's what he says he's like how are those maggots and he looks down he's like he sees a bunch of maggots so he spits it out throws it down on the ground and then you know there's a chick there she's a vampire she was a victim but she's resisting and fighting the you know the, the desire to eat flesh so she was trying to help um that guy that they had lured in and she was like stop playing with him you know leave him alone and, and so he kind of like checked himself so they he asked him if he wanted some of his he like you know you want some of mine and he was like and he was like, nah, nah. He was like, and, and he was like, nah. It's just noodles. And, you know, here, get grass some. And he looks, and it was worms. And he was like, man, don't eat that. That, that those, those are worms. And he was like, you know, they started laughing at him. They were making fun of him. And he was like, you know, he was that vampire was fucking with them in his head, you know. So he he showed him again, and it was just nothing but noodles. And then um, finally, the the last part of that. Is that they they had they brought out a bottle that looked like it looked like it was wine it could be wine so they brought it out and um, they asked him they told him hey drink this and you know what's the 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 main vampire head he he took a drink first you know out of that bottle and then they handed him they handed it to the guy that was their victim to try to tr change him into a vampire like him or like them so they're like here drink. And then the, the girl, she jumps in and says, no, she was whispering behind his ear saying, telling him it's blood. Don't do it. And he looks at her and he was like, nah, it ain't blood. But, you know, everything from from the time they were giving him the food, the Chinese food, you know, they were playing with his mind already. They're already, uh, um, um, you know, tricking him, showing him that he was just tripping out. He was just seeing things of his own mind. and But really the whole time it was just it was just rice. But. The girl told him, don't do it because it's it's blood. But, you know, it already had gotten to his head that he was like, he looks at her and he was like, you know, he brushed her off and he, and he took a drink of that blood, which it, 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 it turned him into one of them, you know. So that's how these 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 date setters and these these uh, end time conspiracists, you know, these theorists, these is what they're basically doing to to a lot of people, man. They're numbing them down. They're making them believe that they, this ain't never going to come to pass. You know, the the end it's just something that's always been said from the from 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 the beginning. You know, like I said here in the scriptures in the book of uh let's see Second Peter's uh three and three it says, No knowing this first that there shall come in the last day scoffers walking after their own lust and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of, by that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. You see, but you're going to have people coming in the last day, scoffers and mockers, saying, where is the promise of his coming? Because you're going to have people saying, oh, well, you know, the, the Lord's coming back and the world's coming back this day and, and this, that, and the third. And they're, but eventually people are going to be like, oh, you've been saying that. You, you, where's the proof? You ain't got no proof. People have been saying that from the beginning. People have been saying that from, from the old times. And we're still here, you know, not realizing that there was an appointed time, just like the time of Noah, when all the water came down, the flood. That was an appointed time, you know. 
So that's why the Lord said, blessed is he who's, who's watching on his post, basically. You know, but you're going to have certain people that are going to be like this out here. But they, that, that's their agenda. That's what they're doing through the spirit is getting you people to, to, to be just like these people, these scoffers and mockers, and just basically lose the faith and be to be an unbeliever. So you have to continue to be watchful because we know that Yahweh Bashem Shai is coming back, man. You know, this is in the book of uh, Revelations chapter 1, verse 3. It says, Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. You see, so we don't got time to be bullshitting and, 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 and being like these fucking people out here that are being tossed to and fro like females with every slide of doctrine. You know, this is Revelation 22 and 7. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. You know, so that's what we want to be found being, you know, preoccupied in the scriptures, you know, holding firm unto the word and believing because we know Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is coming back to uh, deliver his bride, to deliver his elect. All right. To, and, to re, and to reward those that are uh, that are of good and, and evil heart, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to leave it with that, brothers. Hope it was edifying. You know, like I said, I was a type, you know, I Googled this in and it popped up. So it was on my spirit to speak on it. You know, if, just also to be an example to you brothers out there that don't really, if you don't have nothing to, to speak about, just type in a word, you know, in the Google search bar and things will pop up and just speak on it, man. You know, but I'm going to leave it with that. Y'all watch me. I was shy. Rakaq Kudash.